That was a long three and a half hours. So what happened exactly? What happened is Hollywood spread the love around in a way that they rarely do. I think there's, there's two questions to consider. Is what did it mean to the industry and what did it mean to the people who mm -hmm. watched it? As a viewing experience, most Oscar shows start with a great deal of pizzazz and excitement and then it certainly attenuates over the evening. I thought this one was exactly the opposite which was well I, I think it got off to a, a disastrous start I think that 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 Seth MacFarlane really made some very serious missteps early on that song about seeing actresses boobs he was a risk in terms of a host it was like watching somebody take a bungee jump and the rope was not really attached mm -hmm. he never bounced back up until about the last 20 minutes when there were some pro surprising victories um, when there were some wonderful speeches when there were some unscripted moments, Jennifer Lawrence stumbling and falling on the steps as she went right. up to collect her award and then giving a really sincere, fresh, you know, um, likable speech. You guys are just standing up because you feel bad that I fell and that's really embarrassing, but thank you. This is nuts. Daniel Day-Lewis, um, terrifically witty and, and gracious. I mean, I think you're right about it spreading the love around and I think that was indicative of the of the field of movies. There were a lot of really good movies. I think broader audiences got to look at Beasts of Southern Wild, yep. a movie they should look at. They got yep. a hard look at Amour, which yep. was nominated both as a foreign film yep. and a, and in the best picture yeah. category. You, um, They got a good hard look at Life of Pi. You know what, that movie got a lot of love. Ang Lee mm -hmm. won mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. a best director. Les His, Miserable got some. Yeah. The biggest sort of disappointment is, is Mr. Spielberg and Lincoln. I think also um, it was interesting to see what happened to Zero Dark Thirty, maybe not all that surprising, but all of the explosion of op-ed finger-pointing at that, at that movie, I think, hurt it. To the point where it really only won... Sound editing. It shared the, the sound editing prize which with is Les Miserables. There's something else we have to talk about, which is your... I know you're, you're, you're too much of a gentleman to bring it up, um, but your... Me and my little superior, friends? Your, your 18 Gustavs to my 11. This means that uh, this man um, picked, and you picked, you picked some counterintuitive ones. You picked Ang Lee to win Best Director. I don't think that a lot of people uh, picked that. You, you didn't pick Tarantino to win Screenplay, which I think very few people did. That was the biggest surprise of the night that, that, was, that was a big surprise, and that was, that was a great moment of, of right. Quentin getting up there and being Quentin and, and you know what? That's thanking one thing himself. About and boy, this time did I do it. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Leo went over there, but I'm thanking him, too. Okay, I know, I'm getting off, I'm getting off, but one last thing. The thing about social media is that even a bad show, you can have fun with because you've got all of these people, you know, not just your friends in your living room, but all of these people out there in the digital world to kind of share the experience and, and make something enjoyable out of not, it. Not to pull back to 30,000 feet, but let's say 10,000 feet. Mm. When you have a large event in plain sight, and it could be the World Cup, it could be the Super Bowl, yep. it could be important Senate uh, hearings, when you have the opportunity to annotate with millions and millions mm -hmm. of social media messages, I think it becomes a new cultural object. You can see the sort of the, 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 the hive mind, if you want, of, of you know, everybody who's watching, extracting the meaning and finding the humor and, and you know, the, the, the points of argument and the, and the interesting moments and, and sort of enriching it. I mean, I think just sitting alone watching that on TV um, would have been just a deadly and depressing and dispiriting experience. But Good watching point. it with you and with all of our friends out there, you know, at nytimes.com, um, it just, it, it was Or it wherever was they watched. Yeah. I mean, it was yeah. a social media experience. Yeah. And, and the message being is, is, you know, the Oscars, for good or for ill, doesn't really belong to the Academy anymore. It belongs to everyone. There you go. And those, uh, those belong to you, my friend. <laughs> to Wait till next year. I'm, I'm, I'm coming back. Yeah. Um, I got to go find a wheelbarrow to get my hardware out of here. Okay. Well, you, you've earned it. And, uh, you know, um, try, not to, try not to choke up as you thank all of your, uh, thank your agent and your wife and your kids. And it came true.